Hi, uh, Pastor Nathan Decker sharing with you through our hashtag Better Together Devotions, men and women of faith whose sainthood, whose belovedness, who, whose, whose wonderful call to be ministers in, in God's kingdom shapes and changes all of us. One of those places you can find a lot of saints is in the hymnal. Whether it's United Methodist hymnal or another hymnal, you'll probably find the hymn by, by the lady I'm about to talk about. Her name was Frances Alsynth, but she's more commonly known as Fanny Crosby. She was a lady who kind of left um, her, her own tradition. She, she grew up Baptist and then she became Methodist because she truly wanted to be a part of a revival and she wanted to make a difference in the world. She's often called the queen of gospel, of modern gospel, or, or the mother of modern congregational singing because she wrote so many songs and she had to fight against a lot of people who thought that she shouldn't be preaching. She shouldn't be writing these songs. And so she had to write many times under under pseudonyms and such. I think the record says something like 200 different names. Uh, she wrote songs under them just so that she could praise God. And speaking of praising God, she wrote hymns that we know that we sing a lot like praise him, praise him, or, or to God be the glory, or Jesus keep me near the cross, or one of my very favorites, rescue the perishing. You see, in her living, she wanted to make an impact. She wanted to help children who were working at the time, and child, child labor was a big issue in those days. She wanted to help the least of these. She wanted to bring fair wages and fair labor practices. She was very big about a spirituality that didn't just live within songs or didn't just live within praise to God, but a, a spirituality that really affected the world that she lived in. She wanted to rescue the perishing, care for the dying. She wanted to look upon the thief on the cross and say, you are invited to the kingdom of God as well. She was a part of a social gospel movement. And one of the ways that the Methodists of that age did that was by going out and striving to be a part of the suffering that others were enduring and make changes in the system so that the suffering would be less. We started having social creeds. We started having massive amounts of protests and telling business labor practices that they were wrong and this was not the way to treat our fellow human beings. Fanny Crosby, who we're all familiar with, with singing her songs, was a woman who was devout in her faith and who desired to make a difference for God's kingdom by her preaching, by her singing, by her living. Let us go and do the same and find we're better together. Amen.